Hello my friends, this is springtime in Copeland again. In previous episodes, we have seen how to get started with Spring Boot and Kotlin from scratch and how to use various Kotlin extensions for Spring Framework and how to do testing. And in this episode, I'm going to add Kotlin to an existing Java project with Maven. If you wanted to see the same for Gradle, please let me know in the comments. For this demo, I'm using Spring Pet Clinic application that you can find on GitHub. And I have already downloaded it and uh, opened in my ID uh, as a Maven project because you can actually open it both as Maven or Gradle. So how could I configure Kotlin for this project? Uh, I'm going to use my favorite tool for Spring. It's the Spring Initializer. If you go to start.spring.io, you get this wonderful application in front of you and you can select the parameters that you want to use for generating the new project but we are not going to use that new project we are just going to look into the configuration that is generated uh, for this specific project and uh, just copy and paste the configuration snippets into our project so in this time uh, i'm selecting maven Kotlin and the version of Spring Framework that my project is using. And I know that this Spring Pet Clinic application is using JPA, so I want to add JPA as a dependency as well. And now I can just uh, explore what's in the configuration and copy the required pieces into my project. So let's see, I want to copy the Kotlin version into the properties like this then I'm going to need those two dependencies for Kotlin Reflect and Kotlin STDlib. Going to add them here. And then I need to configure the new source routes for Kotlin under the build part. Let me see, here it is. Matting that and obviously I need those directories as well. So I'm going to create the directory for Kotlin sources and for Kotlin tests as well. Let's see what else. I need to configure the Kotlin compiler plugin and uh, here it is. I'm just going to copy and paste it into my configuration right here. So what's in there? Uh, we are configuring the uh, Kotlin Maven plugin uh, and it also configures a couple of compiler plugins for Kotlin. The first one is Spring, the second one is JPA. So those are two Kotlin compiler plugins that adjust the generated bytecode uh, to be used in the Java frameworks like uh, Spring and Hibernate because they expect that the classes that they are going to work with are not final and in Kotlin the classes are final by default. So those two plugins will do the bytecode magic, uh, make the classes not final, generate the null arcs constructors for the entities and so on. Now I just want to add some Kotlin code and see if it compiles correctly. It's going to be a REST controller this time for simplicity and we are going to configure a GET mapping. Let's just return a string this time. Uh, where is my food? So now I just need to run the application. So the application is up and running and uh, let's see if we can 
open the application in the browser and if the new mapping that we just created with Kotlin exists. So it seems to be working. We just added Kotlin to an existing Java project. So now we have learned the following. To add Kotlin to your Java project, you need to configure Kotlin compiler in your build tool. This time we were using Maven, so we needed to configure Kotlin Maven plugin. And depending on what else you need, you might need to configure the compiler plugins for Kotlin. In this case, since we are using Spring Framework, we have configured Spring Compiler plugin for Kotlin. And since we are using JPA with Hibernate implementation uh, to generate the no ars constructors for the entities, we have to configure the JPA plugin as well. The easiest way to get the proper configuration for your project is to refer to start.spring.io, but you can also find all the relevant configuration snippets in Kotlin documentation as well. Stay tuned for more episodes about introducing Kotlin into your Java projects. Thank you for listening and have a nice Kotlin.